So I know it works. It took me one week to do it. That's all that it took me. One week. I simply went some to sleep in the assumption that my wife was there. And it's the girl to whom I'm now married and who bore us this glorious daughter. And it's been since 1936. So here, this heavenly state was denied me because I wasn't feeding myself the right food. I have food you know not of, and the food are words. And you repeat them within yourself. What am I saying? As Blake said, oh, what have I said? What have I done? Oh, all powerful human words. What have I said? What have I done? Oh, all powerful human words. If man only realized what he is doing when he is talking seemingly idly to our thought, who cares? Who knows? Who knows? The only one that cares knows. And he is your own wonderful human imagination. That is God. That's the Jehovah of the Old Testament and the Jesus of the New. And there is no other God. And he's buried in you. And he's dreaming in you. And surely you want to awake. But you will awake the day that you actually move in to the life of imagination. Where you trust your imagination and live in it. You're not far from the threshold of rebirth. But I can't tell you the day or the hour. No one knows but the Father. And the Father is your own wonderful human imagination. I saw it so clearly. This is the stone that the builders rejected. But what the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. It was the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. So I rejected the fact that I was the cause of the phenomenon of my life. I couldn't believe it. I thought everyone outside of myself caused it. Then I realized when I saw the vision, here is a stone, a quartz, and it fragmented into numberless parts. As he said, the one who bought the home, that's a, a fragmented part of my own being. My doubt brought him into being. He materialized my doubt. A man, a person. And he bought the home I wanted because he had more money. I materialized that. It came out of me. So the whole thing fragmented. And then when it came together and formed itself into a man, seated in the lotus posture, and I looked at it, I'm looking at myself. Then I realize I am the cause. He is the dreamer in me. One day he is going to awake from this dream. And when he awakes, I am he. And he and I are one. This is a story I am trying to tell the whole vast world. Because I know it's true. And the day will come, you will know it's true. There is no other God than your own wonderful human imagination. I still would invite you, although I've told you, to do it yourself, I still invite you, if you feel uneasy about it, to ask of me. For in the end, may I tell you, we are one. Now let us go into the silence. <clears throat>